Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, make sure you come back tomorrow for more and more and more and more. And now, gotta go grocery shopping real quick. It is 626. Here is my wife. Here is my life. Um, what are you doing? Oh, those I can't fit underneath there. I just didn't put them away. She's chewing a mango. We're supposed to go out to eat. It's to the new humble place, which she's already been to. Did you vlog about it? I just showed it a little bit. I didn't like really vlog about it though. So we're trying to go there, but it's a little bit away from home. And Sarah is a rock star, and even though we didn't vlog Wait, yesterday. Wait, what's that little notification? Share failed. What? Okay. We figured it out. We're watching the ginger run right now. <laughs> and he's running a hundred mile race. The June recap is about to be up. Sarah edited the June recap. I'm excited. Check it out if you haven't. The recaps are my favorite. This is my second favorite. Last month's still my favorite. Really? But this one is such a close second. Finally. Are you okay, one of everything. All right, so we did not get one of everything. We were actually smart and we got, I got a pizza called Meat Lover's Pizza, so I'm excited to see what this is. It's got shiitake mushrooms, bacon, fennel sausage made from Farro, cauliflower, marinara, macadamia regatta cheese, and cashew mozzarella cheese. Yeah. And then I got nachos that has the same chorizo on it, I think, or maybe, yeah. Well, you have a different chorizo. Different chorizo and all sorts of good stuff. And then we also got truffle aioli. And we might have to get the milkshakes to go afterwards. It was, for those three things, it was With $33. With tip, it was $33. Yeah, so it is a little bit more expensive than like a normal takeout place. I told Peter, I was like, beware, like if you get a burger, it doesn't come with fries. But it's like more crafted and I know we're gonna be full. And we might get the milkshakes after. I just have to go on a run tonight, so I'm trying to be smarter than I was when we had Taco Tuesday. And I went grocery shopping, as you saw, so I think we're going to dial back on the eating out. But yeah, we've been treating just... ourselves. It's an important time. And we haven't been up for cooking, and I'm going to make stuff tomorrow that'll last throughout the weekend, so we'll just have to heat it up. Here we are, enjoying our milkshakes. How's yours? Delicious. It's like kind of nutty mocha-ish. What do you think, we're like 10 minutes behind Magic Kingdom? <laughs> we're like in, like there's one community north of Magic Kingdom. We're like at the end of that in the beginning of the second. Yeah. So we're about 10 minutes north. So like if we were here right now at firework time, we could see it from here pretty much. We're gonna go see about either going home or going to somewhere to watch the fireworks maybe. It's 8.10 right now. It's gonna be hard to like get inside Magic Kingdom. Oh, we'll talk about it, we'll talk she about it. She wants to park at Bay Lake, but it's super difficult to park at Bay Lake when you don't have a dining reservation. We're actually really surprised because the GPS took us backstage. So right here is where all the costumes for all the cast members in Magic Kingdom go. Mm -hmm. That's where you go to orientation. That's called Disney University, DU. I'm mm -hmm. a two-time graduate at DU. With the blue top there. Oh, wait, we just passed the Holiday Services building. Okay, That's Holiday all the Christmas is in there. It went blurry, Disney knows. Oh no! <laughs> I just saw a trolley in this building over here, which is where the monorail gets serviced. Yeah. But yeah, straight ahead. This is all the transport stuff, and then this is how you get into Disney if you're gonna work there. Yeah, you go straight to a Magic Kingdom, and we're gonna go see if we can get into the Grand Floridian. So we're gonna go this way and go all the way around. The birds are out. And so are the Brookharts. <laughs> we broke free. <laughs> we broke our chains from our house arrest. Well, we have. Plans tomorrow night, and then it's the transfer, and I'm and gonna be on, on house arrest. Not yeah. house arrest, but bed rest. Bed rest. Um, for at least like a week. So, so one more night. This is the last time you're gonna be able to go out to the parks for at least probably 
maybe five or six days. Because Sarah will be able to, see, they specifically call it no theme parks, but it doesn't mean we can't sit on Main Street, not walk all around the park, but like right. sit on a bench. Right. We're not like on vacation going to a theme park. Yeah. Like park open, park closed. It's like I can sit on a bench in Hollywood Studios. Yes. Come on, boys, want to sing around. I don't know the words and all that jazz. <laughs> I don't even want to go to Magic Kingdom right now. I yes, just want to hang out at the Grand Floridian. Too bad. I got to run tonight, too. It's going to be a light one for Peter. But it's going to be stay long. enjoyable. How's that milkshake doing? Sarah just said, uh, I feel full. Look at these new chairs. Okay, we don't come by for like a week and a half. And what happens? <laughs> I just said be strong like 20 times. Do you hear that? Do you hear that heavenly music in the distance? It's my boy Wes. You're my boy Blue. I really go we're going. I just can't let Wes see my face because if he sees us and knows that we're going to Disney World when we can be watching him, his heart's gonna be broken. I'm not upset. He's upset. It's gone. I don't like it. It looks yeah, so right. empty. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I accidentally scratched a bug bite on my ankle. And now it's on fire. Guess where we are. Three, two, one. People mover. Yes, but it's kind of scary because the, there's not really wind, so the firework fallout is literally falling into crowds. Like I saw a piece of firework land next to people 10 feet away. on that ride and the walk out right at the finale. Ready for it? The battles, the stories, the losses and all the glory. Hold on. I don't know if I've seen this mug yet. We might need it. The ear hearts might need it. But more importantly, 4th of July has passed. You know what that means? Halloween time begins very shortly. In just five minutes, Halloween time will begin. The lights are extra bright today. Your cadaverous power betrays an aura of foreboding. Almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Which way would you like to stroll out? Through Frontierland and Adventure? I think through Liberty Square. Ooh. Well, 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 that is definitely not true. But I know where a counter is. Sarah pulled me in and just had to smell all the Christmas smells because shortly, now that it's officially Halloween time, shortly after that, hold on, I need that so bad, I need it so bad, shortly after Halloween time, good old St. Nicholas in the 160 days, I better start shopping, I better start celebrating. Um, Sarah, I don't think we're supposed to be here anymore. Oh, the 
<laughs> the DJ party starts now. If we didn't have to get home so I could run and you could go to sleep, I'd say let's go try to sneak in a song or two. So check it out. Main Street's kind of got a creepy vibe going on to it with the red and green lights. We gotta go home and watch Hocus Pocus now. Yes, yes, we just did. Don't act like we didn't just watch it the other day. Hey, right, we're home. It's later than we wanted. It's 11.22, but I want to show you. I'm wearing my shirt that my little friend made for me. And it says, judge me by my time, do you? Because today at 10 a.m. Eastern was officially early registration for a DBC and annual pass holder for Star Wars Rival Run 2020. And if you don't follow us on other social media, so you haven't seen it yet, but you'll hear it now, I've signed up for the Star Wars Half Marathon. So this past year I did a 10K and half. And then for Wine and Dine and Princess, I'm signed up for everything 5K, 10K, half. But Sarah and I decided, and now we've made it official with Star Wars next year, that I'll do the one biggest one of every weekend. I think I'm still going to do Dopey just because I love Dopey. Um, but out of the Princess, Star Wars, and Wine and Dine, I'll probably be just sticking it to the half marathons for now because it's a lot of money to do those. And we're going to dial back on the fundraising after we finish our ACS donation because we're almost at 2000 right now of our $4,000 goal by the end of the year which you thank you guys you guys are incredible but I think we're going to take those registration funds that we allocate and bring those to other fun ones like I just found a marathon in Fort Lauderdale which is very close to where I was born in Plantation there's some cool 50 milers and other marathons and half marathons and 10ks and 5ks all around Central Florida I'm trying to find one to do when we're in Chicago in November, but it looks like it's there might not be one. The extended period of time will be there. So I'd rather spread out the runs that I do outside of Disney, but still do the Disney ones, but not do all of them. So I have officially signed up for Rival Run Half Marathon next April in 2020. And so that means between now and April of 2020, I am now up to 12 registered races, which is absurd. But talking about absurdity, it's 11.24 p.m. I have to go change, and I'm going to go to the gym and I'm run the treadmill for seven miles because that is what this schedule calls for. Finally updated our calendar today. Tomorrow I have acupuncture. Today's quote is, slow and steady wins the race, Aesop. We definitely always have to remind ourselves of that. I'm going to bed. I'm going to get my eight hours before I have to drive Peter in the morning, and then I'll have a little busier of a day, just a little bit of back and forth. Um, but I'm gonna cook some red sauce tomorrow, like all day, so we'll just have it for the weekend um, to have with pasta, like quick, but like delicious, healthy, like hearty meals. Um, Peter got two different kinds of spaghetti that we're gonna try that are, um, maybe like lentil or I think there's one that's from beans and one from rice so I'm excited for that so I'm going to head to bed and hopefully Peter should sign off um, when he gets home from his room it's good to be home All right, it's 12 40 in the morning just want to show you look how gross it is look how sweaty it is it is all over the place oh man Oh, they got cleaning regs here though. That was insane. I think I I got a 920 mile for seven miles, which is, I didn't realize I said it that high, but I feel it. Gotta go back home after I clean off the machine and go to bed. All right, it is way too late, especially considering I'm gonna get up way too early to go on my run because we have a busy evening tomorrow and a very early Saturday. So we'll see if that happens. If not, I can squeeze the run in tomorrow afternoon, but I don't know if Sarah signed off and I don't, she probably read the daily message already, but it's too dark in there and both, both of my girls are asleep. Can't turn the light on. So I'm just gonna say it right here. I love you guys, you guys are the best. Thank you for joining along on our journey and all the different kinds of days, park days, not park days, IVF, good days, IVF, bad days, just, all the days. So thank you for that. And it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions.